Welcome. Today you're going to be learning how to construct triangles while given two sides and one angle. Now here you have the basic tools to construct triangles. You need a protractor and a ruler. Now if we take a look at the instructions it says construct triangle ABC. Now you're given three aspects. Again, as we said, you're given two sides. You're given the length of side AB which measures 4.5 centimeters. You're given angle A which measures 110 degrees and you're given side AC which measures 4 centimeters. Now we're trying to determine what the unknowns are and that is how long the side BC is, the one remaining side, and you're going to try and determine what the angle of B and C is. So to start out, you should always start out with the known and you should always start out with the side as well. So you're going to take your ruler and you know that the side AB measures 4.5 centimeters. So with your ruler you're going to draw a nice straight line along your ruler that measures 4.5 centimeters. Like that. Now you can move away your ruler and this is going to be your baseline. Now you're going to move on to the second piece of information you're given which is angle A. Now you're going to name either the left side or the right side, it doesn't matter which, angle A or B because you know that these are going to be corners of your triangle. So the purpose is for now, I'm just going to put A on the right side and B on the left side. You could do either side, doesn't really matter. Now you're going to take your protractor and you're going to use that second piece of information to measure angle A. Now that you label, labeled the right side of this uh, triangle A, you're going to place your protractor right on the corner and of course right flat across the line and you're going to measure angle A. Now you know that angle A is 110 degrees. Now looking on your protractor, as you can see, there's two different parts of the protractor. Which one are you going to choose? Is it going to be the left or the right side that's 110 degrees? So you have to ask yourself, is 110 degrees an obtuse or an acute angle? If it is greater than 90 degrees, it is an obtuse angle. 110 is greater than 90 degrees. Therefore, we're going to be using it on the right side, so we need a large angle. So we're going to follow up our 110 degrees, then you're going to use your pencil and you're going to put a dot right at the top at 110 degrees by your protractor. You can now move away your protractor. Now, you have your second piece of, or your third piece of information, which is side AC, and that measures 4 centimeters. You know that where this dot is right over here is going to be where angle C is going to be. However, you're also given the measurement from A to C and that's going to be 4 centimeters and that is also key. So you're going to have to take your ruler once again and line it up nicely with your angle. So you're going to have right at the corner where your zero is going to be and you're going to make sure that your ruler is lined up where your line is. And as this is a little more difficult with a computer and you're going to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Now you have your line that's right aligned with your, your the dot that you put where 110 degrees is going to be. It's aligned with your angle A and now you're going to make a nice straight line that's going to go 4 centimeters long. So this one is not even going to reach the dot and you're going to stop right at 4 centimeters. Now you can move your ruler away. Now what's next is you need to label, you know that this corner over here is going to be corner C. So our triangle almost looks like a triangle. All we have to do now is connect it. So we take our ruler and we're going to connect A and B, or sorry, B and C. And it's really important that you have straight lines right across. Because if you start to alter the angle or the length of each side, the angles are going to change on you. As I try to get this almost perfect and right along with your pencil you're going to make a straight line with your ruler and it's going to connect dot to dot just like how you used to do it as a kid at restaurants. So there we have triangle A, B and C. Now you must label your triangle. You have the given which is the first and this is going to be 4.5 centimeters. So as you can see there, side AB is 4.5 centimeters. 
you know that side AC is 4 centimeters. You know that angle A is 110 degrees. All right, so now we need to determine the unknown, which is side BC, angle B, and angle C. Now we could take our ruler to measure side A or BC. So once again, we're going to line up our B right to C, and we could see that it's about 7.1 centimeters. So we're going to label side BC 7.1 centimeters. Oops. 7.1 centimeters. Do not forget your centimeters or else you will not get this correct because what's 7.1 without its measurement? Now the next is we have to measure angle B. So we're going to take our protractor and we're going to place it on angle B ever so nicely and we're going to line up where it is perfectly and we can see that the angle moves at about 32 degrees. So angle B is 32 degrees. And you're going to label it there. And now finally you have to measure angle C. Now there's two ways that you could do this. You could actually use the protractor to measure angle C. Or, if you are really, really smart, you would know that a triangle must measure 180 degrees around. So if you were to do that, you would take 110 plus, 100, or 110 plus 32 and subtract that by 80, 180, and you'd have your answer. Now I'm going to measure this one, and as we take our line, it would go, it looks to be about, if this is aligned perfectly, about 41 degrees, 39 degrees, 38 degrees, should be about 38 degrees, if we take our calculation. So we have 38 degrees. Now if we add up all the angles, we have 110 plus 32 plus 38. We'll have our zero. Oh, we got to move the ruler. We have our 10. We have our 8 and we have 180 degrees. And that is how you construct a triangle while given two sides and one angle.